hello team and welcome back to the channel so today is uh, diwali so happy diwali first of all secondly i'm launching my batch 3 of uh, zero to hero devsecops and cloud devops course and this is going to be the ultimate course that will be helping you to getting a job as well as understand uh, uh, devops completely okay so let me just walk you through about the things that we are going to cover and i say this is going to be ultimate course because we'll be having so many things we are going to cover almost every single thing that we need to know in devops so let me just walk you through about what are the things that we are going to cover so this is going to be the roadmap that you can see on my screen secondly so first uh, also team like as i said you'll be having access to batch 1 content batch 2 content and live sessions from batch 3 right okay so let me just walk you through about this syllabus so first of all we'll be getting started with understanding uh, devops what exactly is devops why do we need it what problem does it solve Okay, and real-time scenarios how it's being used in different companies see this this batch 3 is mainly focused on real-time scenarios so whatever we do we'll be doing this in the same way that is uh, that happens in in different mnc or product based companies okay that is the point in batch 3 uh, next so uh, once we complete about devops introduction then we'll be in devops introduction i will be even explaining you how things happen from devops point of view in companies through proper diagram okay so if you are going in interviews you'll be able to explain properly everything about devops moving to module 2 module 2 will be uh, about linux so we'll be starting from scratch understanding what exactly is linux uh, what are the basic commands that we need to know package management and all okay networking commands and much more okay in addition to that we'll be covering shell scripting and i'll be explaining i'll be sharing with you multiple uh, shell scripts that is being, being used in companies okay okay moving to module 3 we are going to get started with git git will understand what exactly is git what problem does it solve see the whatever tool i covered the approach that we are going to follow is first understand what exactly is that tool what problem does it solve and how to implement it okay and real time scenarios of that tool okay so in git we are first of all we are going to perform git deep dive in addition to that we are under, we are going to understand real time scenarios that is git branching strategy for different environments okay that happen in different companies so i'll be explaining you that is as well as like obviously like we are going to cover all the important git commands okay and yeah most commonly asked question in interviews git merge versus git rebase with practical examples we are going to cover moving to next to build tools so in build tools we are going to cover maven deep dive everything about maven we are going to understand next we are going to understand about node.js based applications how to create node.js based application how to execute it and how to deploy it okay so in this in that way if you are going to put in your resume uh, you can easily write maven as a primary skill and node.js as secondary skill in build tools after that we are going to jump to module 5 which is going to be ci cd tools in ci cd tools we are going to cover four kind of ci cd tools okay primary ci cd tool that we are going to cover is jenkins we are going to perform everything with jenkins complete dev, uh, devsecops uh, pipelines from scratch okay after uh, and yeah uh, jenkins everything we are going to cover even if you don't know any, anything about jenkins still you will be mastering jenkins in coming two months okay after that we are going to uh, write pipelines in github actions and gitlab ci cd so github actions and gitlab ci cd these are we, we are going to learn basics so that we understand how to set it up and how to create pipelines with that okay so that you can consider github actions and gitlab ci cd as a secondary ci cd skill but primary will be jenkins other than that we are going to cover in a uh, cloud section uh, the azure devops cicd pipeline that also okay moving to next module which is security tools so at this point you know like more people are jumping into devops and if you want to stand out you need to have more uh, experience okay experience on security tools is the best option that you could do because uh, not everyone is teaching or not everyone knows the security aspect of devops okay so for security tools we are going to use multiple different tools plus best practices okay in tool section we are going to start with sonar cube deep dive obviously everything about sonar cube you'll be knowing okay after sonar cube we are going to learn os dependency check which is used for uh, vulnerability scanning of dependencies and libraries being used in a project with hands-on example i'll be showing you see whatever tool we learn everything real-time scenarios and how things happen in companies that i'll i'll be showing you okay after os we'll be jumping to trivi and trivi can be used for multiple things but and it is one of the best security tool that we could use for security tool that we'll be working with OWASP zap which is used for pen testing or penetration testing finding out vulnerability spots in your deployed application not no one actually is teaching this out there but yeah obviously since i'm devops shack so i am going to teach 
after that we are going to get started with module 7 which is artifact management or you can say release management okay so how companies since you know uh, like when the companies deploy applications they update the application time by time right so they need to manage the application okay release basically they manage they need to manage the release when we need to deploy this and they need to if they want to roll back then also they need to have the previous versions so how does that happen how they manage the releases that also i'll be showing you plus artifact management that is different versions of application how to maintain that in nexus in nexus we store artifacts so i'm going to explain you with hands-on example obviously how do we do that right obviously we'll uh, i'll be showing you setting up nexus as well no issues that then jumping to most important two topics containerization and uh, kubernetes okay so in docker we are going to do deep dive docker file docker uh, image docker container docker compose docker volumes docker networking these many things i'm going to teach you from scratch and trust me after we complete docker you'll be having proper experience in writing docker files and docker compose and everything else okay after that jumping to kubernetes so in kubernetes normal kubernetes first we are going to understand the architecture different components how to set it up on any local server then we are going to study aks plus eks also elastic kubernetes service and azure kubernetes service so both the cloud platform kubernetes will be having experience and i'll be teaching you how to write yaml files how to integrate kubernetes with jenkins right so yeah coming to another module which is module 10 cloud devops part so here we are going to work with azure cloud and azure devops okay so in azure devops whatever things that we do with jenkins like build and deploy applications from scratch same thing we are going to do with azure devops also integrating sonar cube and uh, then we are going to integrate OASP, Trivi and much more things okay and here also I'll be explaining you how do we do release management through Azure artifacts okay then uh, for docker we are going to use ACR which is Azure Container Registry which is a cloud uh, docker registry okay then jumping to most important topic module 11 which is IAC in IAC infrastructure as code we are going to learn hands-on exam uh, through hands-on examples Ansible and Terraform with Terraform, I'll be showing you how you can set up a secured infrastructure for build and deployment of applications, right? With Ansible, I'm going to show you multiple things uh, by configuring different servers, build and deployment as well, okay? And finally, we are going to cover uh, monitoring tools for uh, monitoring different websites, uh, for example, like Jenkins server, Kubernetes servers, like that, okay? And uh, then I'll be helping you with preparing your resume from scratch, how to create your DevOps resume properly, and yeah. Obviously, you can send your own resume for to me for reviews also. Then coming to most important thing of the most highlighted thing of the batch three, which is going to be corporate level projects. So if you can see my screen, these were the three corporate projects which I explained with architecture diagram, uh, functionality of them, and what was my role as a DevOps engineer. In batch two, three more will be added. That is like six corporate projects which I will be sharing with you. Which if you want, you can add in your resume as well. Okay and uh, four more will be added in mod uh, in batch three so total you'll be having uh, knowledge of corporate projects of like 10 corporate projects okay which is going to be very helpful for you if you are going for interviews so this is what we are going to cover in batch three and i believe this is more than enough if you want to go for interviews if you want to learn devops and everything okay also team uh, the uh, let, let's discuss about the timings and cost and all so in this batch uh, for first 20 registration I'm keeping the price around 6,000 okay and you need to use the code Diwali and using that you'll be getting discount of almost uh, this uh, uh, almost uh, 3,000 uh, 3, okay and you can pay uh, 6,000 and as I told key in 6,000 you'll be getting access to contents of batch 1 batch 2 and obviously live sessions in batch 3 so that is the best deal and as I told key you'll be having knowledge of 10 corporate projects plus 6 plus a full stack uh, applications that we will be build and deploy in our course okay not just that uh, i'm not going to show you like like hello world kind of projects i'm going to explain you how to build uh, explain as well as do hands-on implementation how to build and deploy a multi-tier for example i'm going to show you how to build and deploy 10 tier microservices based application not one or two tier 10 tier okay 10 microservices components will be there in that application i'll be explaining you how to build and deploy and i trust key if you are fresher then adding those kind of projects in your resume is the best thing that you could do to get a job or go for interview okay not just that if you do that uh, like if you do uh, deployments of those kind of applications 
that will make you very strong in devops okay and that's what i plan to do so yeah if you want to register if you're interested obviously if you want to know how i teach you can go through my youtube videos already you have access to okay and yeah as i told key batch 3 we are going to focus on real time scenarios so that is the one that is going to help you a lot okay so links for this course will be in the description if you want to enroll you can just go with it if you have any queries or doubt you can just ping me in telegram uh, uh, my uh, username is at the rate devops shack you can just ping me anytime i'll be happy to answer also team uh, telegram channel is available for youtube videos and youtube subscribers you can join that as well for queries doubt or any issues okay so team yeah that's all for today and i, ho I hope this uh, gets you started with uh, uh, gets you started as well as interested in learning devops so yeah team thanks for watching and have a nice day